I'm going to start off with the big height. This is just clear water. Onto the 15 by 11 Fabriano watercolour paper. Um, before I forget, if anyone knows what's happened to Ron Ransom, because I, I can't find his website's gone, and uh, I can't find any trace of him. If, if anybody knows anything, could you just put some in the comments, please? This is just raw sienna. I'm just going to clean the brush and go into a bit of ultramarine. Bit of paint dry as well, just to make it a bit more moody. And then I'm just going to come down like this, as if the sort of light just blasting off from the middle. Come across a little bit like that, and then see how the pairs start to separate. Can you see that? So I just dip it in. I just dip the tips in. Just to bring the hairs together and then it's back into the colours. I've generally got just enough water on the brush to hold the hairs together. Much more, more than that and you're just going to flood the palette. Um, so you know, it's a bit darker now. So it's, and because this bit's darker, this bit appears lighter. It just makes it look more dramatic. Just brushing it in all the way around and then bit in from the side. And so it looks as if there's light sort of shining, there's going to be some water down there. Uh, and then what I might do is, same colours again. And then we have some, there's a, some a distant hill over there, and then it sort of comes up like that. like so. Uh, now the next bit's a bit further forward so I want it to go on stronger so I'm going to wait for it to dry a bit and while I'm waiting for it to dry I can put these on you see how it's starting to go on stronger now as the paper dries the paint takes to it better and while the sky's still wet you can just carry on I've been a bit more on there Paper stretched a bit, so I'm just going to pull it flat so it's easy to work with. Right. Again, just dipping the tips in just to bring the hairs back together on the brush. And let's go really strong mix now. I'm going to start off with the same three colours again. Strengthen this a bit. It's sort of coming over there like so. And what you find, if try not to paint over the same bit of paper more than once. That was a great bit of advice I I had the ones. Unless you've got a specific reason for doing so. You can see how that's stronger, that looks further away now. Maybe introduce a bit of light red with the, uh, ultra, with the raw sienna just to really liven it up a bit. And over on the other side. And getting a bit dry, so just to loosen it up, loosen the paint up so it comes easier off the brush. Just dip the tips into the water. Bit of ultramarine, that's off up there. Just going to clean the brush. There's a bit of, bit of green growing 
amongst the rocks. Just pure lemon yellow on its own. And then it's back to the dark rocky colours. Burnt umber, ultramarine, maybe a bit of pine grey as well in there. Bring that down. Just to start where the water's going to be. using a corner of a piece of card now just to make it look a bit more rocky. Try not to overdo it. Trying to keep it subtle. There's a bit more grass over there. So the green comes around there, and then we're back to some more, more rocks on this side. Also a lot of shadow on this side as well. If you imagine the light sort of coming down this direction, so it's just catching the rocks there, that's why it looks lighter on that side, and then on the other side, around here, it's in shadow. Burnt umber, pines grey, just bringing that down. If I can find my piece of card again, just pick out a few little highlights there. But there's not too much here you can see. A lot of it's in shadow, like I say. Just the odd little, odd little piece popping up. That's all I'm going to do for that. So I'm going to do now. Make sure this is flat. Clean the brush. I don't want too much water this time, so I'm just going to set the excess off on the towel. And then back into those sky colours again. Ultramarine, Payne's grey, a bit of burnt on um, raw sienna. But sort of predominantly the blue. And then it starts and sort of, sort of sweeping a It's like a little fast running stream coming round, sort of coming round like that. And there's lots of the white bits are like the little bits of surf you can sort of the green reflections. Darker on this side. There's a few rocks in there as well, so I'm going to first put them in burnt on battle ultramarine. A few rocks scattered around, a bit more of the ultramarine. A few rocks down there. Scrape them in with a card. Yeah, I'm trying to keep it as sort of as I can without like going over the top. Like so.
strengthen this edge a bit more. A bit dark, because all this is in shadow, you see, so I want it nice and dark. Also, a bit more shadow on this side. I'm going to switch to the number three rigger and I'm going to take a bit of burnt umber, ultramarine, and then just coming off there, we've got a, actually, I want a bit more water. Don't get much brushes on water on these riggers, especially having been used to the hike and all the water that holds. And then from here, I'm just holding it at the end like so, and then we've just got to. You see there how it dries up on the stroke. A bit more water. I'm just going to stick with the, uh, you could do this with a hake really, as well. Well you could put the main trunk in with the hake, I suppose you'd need the rigger for the lighter bits. But then I'm just going to, see how I've scuffed up the end of the brush. I'm just going into the, uh, the greeny colours, a bit of lemon yellow, a bit of Payne's grey, a bit of raw sienna, ultramarine, and then I'm just going to Too dry there is, there's nothing coming off. Just scuff that up a bit more. And then sticking with the uh, the rigger, and making sure my hands dry. Let's put some uh, put some little birds. I think I'm going to leave it at that. So all I need now is a dry spot. I don't need to use the air dryer actually. Let's dry this corner down there. Let's dry that little bit there so I can put my name. Pull that one finish, shall it? See what it looks like with the main sun. So let's go in and have a closer look at it. As usual, you started with the sky, and we've got a, a ultramarine pines grey, just brushed straight down, stopping short, and because of the water, you can see how it softens off. And you don't get any hard edges. Just gives the effect of light just coming up over the mountains and hills. Um, I put these in while the paper was still wet so you can see you still get the soft edges as opposed to, uh, they might have looked better with the, uh, if I'd have let it dry first or use the hair dryer. 
you've ended up with hard edges then as opposed to the soft ones. You don't mind the soft ones in the real far distance, just here, look. Uh, I mean, these are a bit heavier on this side, stronger. So the paper would have been dried on this side here. A few bits of rock scraped out with the uh, card. We've got the water. Um, I think it would have looked better with a bit, bit more of the white surf showing. I've, I've blocked it in a bit too much here, really. Um, Again, a few, maybe too many rocks scraped out. It ain't so bad. I just put in simply using the rigger brush, and then again using a dry rigger just to put these leaves on all the way around at the ends of the branches. Our little birds just bring the thing to life a little bit. Thanks for watching, keep practicing, any questions please ask and I'll see you again soon.